Hey guys, Sam here. I'm going to explain to you how the web app works. The web app allows you to upload and import your fields from the website to the application. The web app also allows you to generate reports for your fields and assign tasks to workers. And it allows you to save any and all information in the cloud. So wherever you are, if you're using the website or the application, you can access the information to your fields at any time. In this tutorial, I'll explain to you how the web app works and what it can do. Hey guys, so here I'm going to show you how to use the web app on the field view page. So for starters, first of all, it is important to sign up and create an account. And once you've signed up and created an account, you can just log in. So right now I will log in. So what we see on the main page is that we have two fields, field alpha corn and field bravo, which has sunflower. And you can see that we are in the map view right now. So you have at the top map, tasks, fields, and glossary. But for now we are at the maps. So you can see for the map, you can see your fields. You can filter it by tasks. And you can also filter it by notes. You can also see in the ruler icon that we can measure by length. So you can just click to set a point. And once you have set all your points, you can just double click and you will see that it is red, showing you the total distance that you've selected. You can also use the measuring icon to measure area. So we we'll go to this field here again. You just have to click to set the points and then double click once you're satisfied and you'll see the area that it gives you. And you can also see that we have the layers view so we can put our map in different layers. So you have the Bing Arial, they have the street map view, the animated version, you have the Bing Road which is less animated and you have the vector layer. But for now we will go to being aerial. And you can also see that you have field crops, you can filter them by tasks, and yeah, more detail. But that is that for now. Now we go to fields. So very important here you see you have cornfields and other. And to add a new field you just press the plus but you can also filter your fields by group so if you selected a certain group like cornfields you'll see on the field alpha appears and if you unselect it then it comes back and you can do the same thing for the type of crop so if you chose corn for instance you'll see that only the field alpha will show and if you unselect it then all the fields come back now if you press plus for add fields, you can either import your field or draw a field. So if you want to draw a field, we will select one of these fields and I will zoom in. Uh, yeah. One, two, three, and four. And if you double click, then you'll see it'll give you your field if you just zoom out and you can see create field so if we select create field you can type in the name the group or create a new group of fields so if you have barley fields then you can create a new group for that and then you can select barley but we are not going to do that for now so I'm just going to select cancel I'm going to can't press the X at the top so I'm going to go back to fields. So right now you can see that it brings us to map view, but I'm going to go to fields again. And we are going to import a field. So we just go to import fields. And I'm going to choose a zip file with our SHP files. So it's called a new field. Open. And here you can see our field gets created. 
And you can also see that if you want to zoom out on the map, you will see where your field is. And if you scroll upwards, you can replace it if you'd like to upload a different one. You can give field a name. So right now, let's keep the name as it is, keep the area. If you have a certain crop that you already know that grows there, then you can type that in. So we'll do, uh, we can do uh, barley for now. And then um, once you're satisfied with everything, then you can just select import. And at the bottom, you'll see all done fields have been imported. So you can just go to fields. And here you will see that your field has been imported successfully. So when we go to tasks, um, you can see that for now they are separated by status. So you have in progress and done. And if you want to separate them or filter them, you can select type and you'll see tilling and harvesting. And basically to the right here, you can filter them by many different things. So if you want to filter them by crop, for instance, and you only want to check out for your cornfield, then you can see that for field alpha, you've only done tilling. But if you want to add a new task, simply press the plus button. So we will select planting for now. Here we can select a field. So you have alpha, bravo, or our new field. I'm going to select our new field. Press OK. And you also have the option to choose workers. So this you can edit in the glossary. So I'll choose Sam for now. Press OK. And for now you will see your field. You will also see the status of open, in progress, or in done. So depending on if you have made any progress or if you completed it, you can just select one of the three and to the top right, it'll say the task status was saved uh, and successfully changed. And if you wanted to add information, for instance, you can select the type of vehicle. So I'll select John Deere. Um, what else? You can type in notes if you want. Um, if you want to add any notes to your field, you can. See here, you have progress, so you see that zero work has been done. If you have any materials, then it can calculate how much material you have used, and you also have tracks. And um, for now, I am satisfied with how everything is, so I'm just going to select the check button, and that will save our work. So task was saved. So now I'm going to reset all filters, select the green, and then you can see that all your tasks show up. And lastly, go to glossary. And here you can add any extra information. So for instance, if we go for materials, you see that for fuel, we have diesel. And if you wanted to add extra seeds, for instance, add material, we'll do new seed, and I'll select barley, for instance, go to units, to wait on that sometimes. And you can type in the certain type of notes that you want to. But for now, I'm just going to select cancel. Um, sometimes it does take a bit. And see here, you can select kilograms or grams. For now, I'm just going to select kilograms because it's at the top. Press save. And you can see that it'll show up. And also for glossary, if you wanted to add an extra worker, you can just press the plus button. And here you can add another worker. So I'll select Jan, position coworker, press save. And if you want to, for instance, add extra machinery, you can just press the plus button and you can add your own tractor. So you can add the name, the year, the width, and add notes. And here you can see the list of tractors you have used. If you want to delete all of this information because it's not relevant to you, you can just press the pencil icon 
and here you can select the boxes to the left and you'll see that, that the trash can symbol shows up. So you can just press delete and then delete. And that is how you can delete anything. And if you wanted to add new crops, for instance, you see that we'll go down lettuce is not on there or another crop that you have. You can just press the plus button, type in lettuce, select the color, green for now, press save. And you will see that when you go through the list that uh, lettuce appears. And if we go back to the map, you can see now that we have our new field. So one of our fields is actually in America and the other two are in Holland. So I don't think you guys will have this problem, but if you don't see your fields right away, so if you look at the map and you don't see your fields, just simply press to one of your fields on the left and it'll bring you right to your field. So for instance, this field is all the way in the Netherlands and you can see our field Bravo is near it. And if you want to go to another field in the US, you can just press on that field and it will bring you right to it. And then you can see, yeah, the same thing for tasks. If you want to go to planting for a certain task, then you can just click on the task and it'll bring you to it. Again, I don't think you guys will have this problem having different fields in different, different countries, but if you do, this is how you can go about it. Thanks everyone for watching and feel free to subscribe to our channel for more videos and tips.